Zips are going to have to get it going with the running game out of the backfield with number seven, Van Edwards. Edwards with positive yardage on first down. Or at least to start this game, a lot of it is now going to be on Edwards, Edwards to provide that ground attack. Swing pass to Edwards. Maybe a yard short of the chance for the Zips to keep the offense moving. Oh, they get hammered in the backfield. Nothing there for Van Edwards. And a guy that a defensive coordinator loves. Remark tossing on first down is Van Edwards tries to get wide Eastern Michigan stretching getting the passing game going as they can use their talented athletes Remark rolling out and throwing into traffic Not a good and long Eagles bringing pressure again Remark and he cannot get away all green in his been on but they could bail late Throwing near side it is caught they went back to Smith, but Eastern Michigan giving up place of Cato Nelson. Here's your productivity. They just have not even gotten close to a first down. They power run on first down. During conference championship play to try to pick up another win. That's Jeremiah Harris coming off it. Oh, what a takedown. Last year, does a good job on the edge. Doesn't bite on the play action. Ends. Wanted to use play action, move the pocket, chip him, but nothing worked right there. Third and 13, they look to throw to Van Edwards. And unfortunately, that's been the story here, and that's why they have four three and outs thus far. First down run, a good one for Van Edwards. Let Ramar air one out right now and see if he can steal one. They're going to stay on the ground and pound it inside. That is. Ramar will hand off again. They pound it inside. Another good second effort by Van Edwards. It's softer in the inside, and they may be able to get some hay. Make some hay down there. From the 44, Edwards again. This time he gets swallowed up. Maybe again. Oh, big pressure and Eastern Michigan coming in hard on Alex from probably running a couple times and try to tie it up. They're going to run. They're going to go with Van Edwards on first down. They're going to stay with him on the outs. First down, Eastern bringing some pressure to try to disrupt this offense. Nowhere to go on second down. What they do is not get any points after a gift from the Eagles. Oh, they're going to go for the end zone and underthrown. Incomplete. Can settle in and get comfortable after a not-so-great first half by Alex Ramard. He'll just fire this one. And you got a big stop there defensively on a turnover on downs. You've got to find a way to give your defense some relief. Oh, a green wall swallowing up Van. After a loss for Acker, and they're sitting at zero on the afternoon. And they pound it inside again. They get positive yardage. This time, and Ramart a lot to do in the passing game. They're going to run this time and go again with Van Edwards and get a little. All afternoon. From the 14, pressure ball is batted in the air, and it's intercepted. Eastern Michigan's going to take it in the end zone. From the 35. More pressure by the Eagles. That was a 19-yard run. Deep ball intercepted. Oh, it was up for grab. Akron, bad field position. They'll run out of the end zone. Maybe a yard. Mixing it up a little bit. But relying on his playmakers up front to really do a great job harassing. Can the Zips extend the drive? Quick. Oh, intercepted. Touchdown. Wow. Holy cow. As they try to throw the quick screen outside, Remart lines up and throw. You see Crosby play off the leading rusher a number of games, so haven't been able to get the ground game going, and subsequently because of that now, Alex Remark throwing the ball up in the air and another interception, this time by number three, Vince Calhoun, who looks like he's trying to find the end zone as well. Forced out inside. Down, Vince Calhoun returning it to the six. You're going to have a great opportunity to convert those into scores. On the run for Akron. Michigan's been getting after him. They've been putting pressure on him in the pocket. You try to run the football, see what you can do there. Give your defense a little bit of a rest of this clock. And they give it again to Edwards, but this time. Deep drop. And now a scramble run. A 10-7 score has really turned around. There's a good sharp throw and stepping up. Except for the fact that they've had some bad penalties today. Out of the Wildcat on fourth and one. I'll tell you, I don't think Akron got it. It doesn't look like they've done a great job. Last week against Central Michigan, they do a phenomenal job out there, only yielding one touchdown, and that is on. I think he's happy with his defensive performance right now. Happier now than he was at the end of the third quarter when this game was 
blowing this game open with the pick six. I mean, you've got to be happy if you're Neil Nethery with what your defense has done. They've done a bit of a rough year, and then this year doing a great job beating Purdue and getting bowl eligible once again. Couldn't get a good game out of the quarterback position today. Now the run, and they've got Jamirlin Suggs, who's got some experience.